And now, my final question, which I'm not quite sure how, what I'm saying in it, but it's something I've noticed, and Fiona Miller and I have talked about it, it's how the politics of education has changed and, and how that meets with social media, and that there are a number of quite powerful people on Twitter, and I would put you in that, and I think you, I read somewhere you were called into the department along with uh, um, Deborah Kidd, and, you know, people who have seen, really, I suppose it's about your Twitter following or your blogs or... Um, and there are certain voices, you know, that seem to me, and I'm not talking about you, I'm fairly dominant and also quite aggressive, so that different views, and it's all done in 140 characters, and I'm not quite sure, I, I, I have a mixed feeling, on the one hand I think Twitter is a tremendously useful way to read about things and to learn and to have a debate, and another way I think it's a wholly inadequate way to, to be conducting debate about education. Your thoughts as somebody who's... Uh, yeah. Really risen to prominence for 140 characters. That's supposed to be. I mean, it's, it, it's that, it, it staggers me. I think for me, I see How myself. How many followers have you got at the moment? 23,000. Yeah, yeah. No, it's insane. It's as, it's as grows and grows. Well, for me, it's, see, I don't see it in that way entirely because I, I'm not, uh, I'm not on Twitter. I don't argue on Twitter. I well, don't I do, de I don't do debate on Twitter. I, yeah. I, I just find it impossible. I, I find, I, I just can't bear the whole way it polarizes and people get cross with each other. So I sort of. Mainly for Twitter, it's a few people that I've made contact with, exchanging ideas, and just, and mainly I see it as a way to promote my blog. Yeah. And for me, the blogging is the main thing. Yeah. Twitter is secondary. Yeah. So Twitter is a headline about something else. Yeah. So yeah. Twitter is a way to say this is happening. Look at this. Here's an idea. There's an idea. Thank you. Thank you. And form some connections. As soon as I start people saying, but 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 but, I I just think, oh no, I pull oh, back. Are incredibly they are. So I find I I don't. And I found that there are some people who, who are, others think of as aggressive on Twitter. When you meet them in person, I just absolutely You've written about that. Yeah, so it's, yeah. just sort of, it's just sort of ridiculous that you think, well, why do you do that? And it's just, partly it's just the nature of the medium. So I don't think that's particularly, I wouldn't say it's unhealthy entirely, but it's just, I think you have to have the right kind of, uh, you know, a certain kind of mindset to embrace that and enjoy it. Um, Maybe an element of attention seeking in it. Well, no, no, no I, I, yeah. I think for some people it's just, well, you know, where else are they going to have these discussions? I, I think uh, you get a much better uh, discussion in person. And, then, and I think tone in debate does matter. I do think you can mm. say and write something in a tone which is totally inappropriate. Yeah. And I've written yeah. that in a thing on one of my blogs about that, about how, you know, if, some, if, if I don't like the tone, I'm not interested in what you're saying. Yeah, and yeah. and that, I just can't hear it. And yeah, I so I, I found that over time. But the blog, I, I think the thing that, that I found amazing to me is, I think I just started at the right time to be to form an, a, a niche where, you know, there aren't that many head teachers writing, yeah. and there's a few of us, and and, that, and what happens is you get you get to know the people, so you get invited to the same sort of events and teach meets and free teacher conferences, and all you know, similar people are there. Uh, now, it's when, all when, a form of CPD, really. Yeah, and, and the the. the the, the, the sort of being invited to the I get invited to the stuff all the time now and it's just you know I've had to with a new job and everything I'm having to sort of say oh, no, I mean I just can't deal with that but it, it has been amazing to me now in you know, the last two years with the heads round table and yeah it's led to all sorts of meetings with you know working with the Labour Party on the on the their, some of their policy stuff working going to see Michael Dave in his office with with the um, Michael Wilshaw in a meeting together with Heads Round Table, and that was just amazing. And all that comes on the back of writing, blogging, talking about education. But you so see that as it's, it's been a positive, absolutely certainly been liberating. Positive, yeah. yeah, I am conscious of the kind of um, the sort of the the small worldness of it, though. So, um, you know, I've been to a couple of events recently where most of the people weren't on Twitter, and actually. I found it really interesting because I, you know, they, they didn't know certain people or certain things, and I, you know, to me in my world, I just think, well, gosh, you want you know, surely everybody knows about that or, or that person, yeah. Yeah. and as so I do think it's empowering for everyone to get involved and to to, and to do it and with, with with all the the followers that you know, it, it's for me, it just brings about you know constant flow of opportunities to do things yeah. like running this baccalaureate thing mm -hmm. today you feel having you have influence um 